In this tutorial, I wanna show you how quick and easy it is to make a fun key fob out of a zipper. Now, I have been making fabric key fobs for a while and I have video tutorial on that. I will put a link below the video if you would prefer to keep it more traditional and do that. But I saw this and just thought this was kind of fun. Now, this one is not a loop. This one is more of a wristlet. This one is not. That might be another video. I'm gonna play with that now that I say it out loud. I love zippers. I kind of have a few. They come in all kinds of fun colors, all different lengths. So they're just a quick and easy way to whip up something interesting for a gift, for yourself, stocking stuffers, et cetera, et cetera. So what you need, you need a zipper, you need key fob hardware, and I have lots of different tutorials for things you can make with this. I use the one inch. If you are new to this, I highly recommend you get the pliers that come with it. It's going to make it so much easier to get that hardware squeezed onto the top of whatever kind of key fob you make, and it is going to be consistent. If you try and use regular pliers, sometimes you'll get a little bit of a dent. So this tool, very much worth the money in my opinion. Then you need a foot for your machine that can do zigzag and a zipper foot. And this is going to go together in no time. So here is what you're going to do. You also need non-fabric scissors. Do not cut zippers with your fabric scissors or you're gonna mess them up. So these are just my everyday um, non-stick scissors. So we'll use those to trim this after we do a little stitch. So you'll see I did these two in different sizes. This one is five inches long. This one is four inches long. Oh, look at this is fun. So you do have to be careful when you zip to not hook whatever you put in it, but you could use this to keep like a little extra cash. You basically just have to fold, fold, fold your money and put it in and make sure you put this side and not the side with all the little flaps towards the zipper because I did test that and it is much more likely to catch if you have it the opposite direction. I think this is just kind of fun. Every once in a while you just need a little bit of cash and you will always have it in your zipper or you could put little love notes for your kids, whatever, get creative. So you need it to be at least four inches long if you want to put money in there, American money. You Europeans can measure your money and let me know or five inch, you can kind of go with what you like. We are going to do a four inch. And so to do a four inch, you are going to put your zipper on your cutting mat or against a ruler, and you are going to pin double the size you want. I'm gonna measure eight inches from the end. And I mean the very end of this zipper part. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna put a pin right there and that is just gonna let me know where I'm going to tack that. We are not doing a black zipper, we are doing a purple zipper. So let's try that again. I'm gonna measure eight inches from the end. I'm going to put a pin so I know where to tack it and now we are just going to put our foot and do a little zigzag. I do recommend that you use thread that matches your zipper because then when you're sewing the edges, you wanna sew really close to the edge. And if you aren't perfect, but your thread matches, you're not really going to notice. So I would highly recommend that. Now what I do is I leave the zipper in and I put it under the foot so that I can see the needle is pretty much over top of the zipper. And I'm gonna choose a zigzag stitch. I wanna make it wide. So usually about six and a half to seven is a good width to make sure when I zigzag, it goes on either side of the zipper and doesn't try and sew through the zipper. And then I also want to make it short because we don't wanna move along. We wanna just do a bunch of stitches right in the same place. Now I'm going to take the pin out. I'm gonna put my foot down, hold my top thread. I'm gonna use the hand wheel to put the needle down to make sure I am on the right-hand side of my zipper or left, whichever one you want to start with. And now I'm going to do about 10 stitches. Okay, and then I'm going to let it knot again. Okay, so we have that tacked. Now I'm going to take my non fabric scissors and I'm going to trim just past where I sewed and I'm just gonna cut right through that. Now this is a plastic zipper, so I can do that. I haven't worked with metal zippers, so you might not be able to do that with scissors. 
You'll have to do a little research if you want to do that. Now we are going to move the zipper down a few inches. If you want to, you can take this and you can sew across the top, but I have found it's not really necessary. Now I'm going to fold the zipper in half, lining up these top edges and just making sure that's lined up correctly. And I'm going to clip that. And I'm also going to squeeze it and clip at the bottom. Now you'll notice before the zipper, this is kind of bowing out, right? And then when you move it, this is a problem with sewing zippers always. See, it gets nice and straight, but just before it, it bows out a little bit. The trick to getting any kind of zipper done right and doing this project so it stays straight is to move the zipper down, line this up so these edges are lined up. And then as we sew, when we get to about here, we're going to stop and we're going to move the zipper so that it stays straight down here. So I just want to show you what we're going to do ahead of time. I'm going to line up these edges and then I'm going to put this pin and if you use the smallest head pin that you have and put it really close to the zipper because we are going to sew as close to the edge as possible and you can probably leave that pin on while you sew. I'm going to do that for the other side as well. And I do want the ball of the pin, the head of the pin, down towards the folded side. So if I need to take it out while I'm sewing, I can grab it like that. So now we are going to just take this to the sewing machine and stitch both sides. Okay, I'm going to change my foot to a zipper foot. And then I'm going to change my stitch to a zipper, however you do that on your machine. And so mine has a setting for sewing to the right of the zipper or sewing to the left. So you'll notice it's moving the needle from one side of the zipper foot to the other. So I'm gonna start with this side. Okay, so you wanna make sure, again, confirm that this is lined up well, have your zipper down a little bit, and now you're going to put the foot down and the needle in really close to the edge. The closer to the edge, the better, especially if you want to try and put money in here. If you just want to be decorative, it's not as important. And go forward a couple of stitches. I'm going to go back a few stitches and I'm just going to go really slowly. Now you'll see I'm getting towards that jiggy part. That's a technical term. So I'm going to make sure I keep it over a little bit, kind of just push on this to keep that straight. And now I'm going to stop and I'm going to zip that so that this part is going to stay straighter. And then when I get to the end, I'm gonna reverse again. So now that side is stitched. I'm going to move my needle to the other side of the zipper foot and I'm going to do the same thing. So you wanna pull the zipper down a little bit so that this isn't bowed out up here. Remember to just keep making sure that you have these lined up correctly, especially since you're sewing so close to the edge, you wanna make sure you get it. I can take this pin out now. We're gonna move the zipper up. That one is a little bit in my way. Okay, just double checking, everything's lined up. So that's all the sewing. You can see how quick and easy that would be if you wanted to make a bunch of them. You could just pin them all, sew them all. This could be a great thing to sew and sell. So now all we need to do is put the hardware on. Now, putting on the key fob hardware is super easy. You'll see it has little hooks on the one side and it's just metal. We're going to put that right over the edge. It, one inch is perfect for this zipper. I put it in the tool first and see I get that lined up nice and straight with the edge. Then I put the fabric in and I make sure that is lined up as well and not gonna hang off the end. And you can kind of double check it as you squeeze it before you squeeze it hard to make sure you're good. And then you're just going to squeeze that until it is nice and flat. And that's it. It's done. So leave me a comment. Let me know who you're going to make them for. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's someone else. I'm very curious about how you like this versus the wristlet key fob. And I will play around and see how we can make a zipper wristlet for a future video.